so okay, okay. I have done that many times with older maps, and when I when I I actually figure okay, this is my right latitude and longitude. I put into the into the into the GPS, transfer it to QGIS, and by the time I really wanted to see on the map before I go to the field, I realized that instead of the point being somewhere in Dian, it's telling me that it's somewhere in Calabar in Nigeria. So I have done that many times and I'm like confused. So it just got to a point I said, okay, I will not I will never use um Latin alone to form a map. Okay. Everyone understand the problem? He's using a map to try to find coordinates on a printed map and use those coordinates to put in the GPS to go somewhere. And he's finding out he ends up in the wrong country. Okay, because you're ending up in the wrong country, my suspicion is it has nothing to do with the map scale. Fact is, I'm curious about what exactly it is you are doing to get that far away. I don't know the answer. The answer to the map scale problem is understanding the map scale tells you how far something is, a distance on the map, which may or may not have something to do with the coordinates on the map. Because the map, we'll, we'll look at the details of a map in a moment. The map has coordinates on it. For example, the corners of the map all have coordinates on them. So you could measure the difference between those coordinates. No? Mm -hmm. Say that it's 10 centimeters from this corner to that corner. Yes. You can use how far those corners are apart in degrees, mm -hmm. measure the number of centimeters, and determine the number of degrees from one or the other. Okay. You have not used the map scale at all in that case. If you do use the map scale, it's because you're measuring a distance from one of those corners and then calculating the coordinates based on a distance from the corner, which is a difficult thing to do. So I doubt that you're doing that. So one suspicion is, exactly as I was saying up there, is that the map that you're using is not WGS84. It's quite likely that it isn't. Mm -hmm. That will contribute uncertainty, but it will only contribute uncertainty less than three and a half kilometers. Because that's the worst case in the whole world between all datums. Okay. So I don't know how far apart your two points end up being, mm -hmm. but it's probably not because of the datum either. Mm. One other possibility in Africa, at least, probably not in your case because of the geography that you told me, is that the coordinates that you're entering are not taking correct account of the sign east or west of the longitude zero. Positive will be to the east, negative will be to the west. So wherever the prime meridian runs, it will be one direction on one side, the other direction on the other side. But to me, it sounds like everything in your case is all to the east of zero. Mm -hmm. So that's also not the contribution. So you've created a mystery. I don't know what you're doing. But those are all possibilities that were ruled out. <laughs> mm. So if you show me what you're doing, I might be able to figure it out. Ooh, I don't but have any of the maps. Yeah. They are back in you can show me the process. Okay maybe on another map and I can say, oh, listen, Moses, no, what are you doing? Okay, I'll look, maybe. I'll look at another map. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's like a comment to the question of, uh, of Moses. It's a, uh, in, 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 in people I met that, that situation, just to take co those coordinates and once they, they make a map, they find it in the other country. Um, uh, like when you take a point from from east, you get those, uh, you get the point in the west. Uh, I think, uh, but there is uh, but it's uh, they change the uh, there is a, a a problem in taking those points before you do, you didn't change the 
yeah, in, in, in the GPS, you didn't change those those first numbers, just those first number for retweet or retweet from an area. You take it just the number from another place, and it, they comes with that other place. But but uh, if you change them, you you get the right point. So you're you're saying or confirming what I was talking about with respect to the sign, yeah. Yeah, and I, you're making me think now there might be another possibility with yours, and that is that the coordinates that you determined from your map were not actually decimal degrees. That can make a huge difference. If the form, if what you wrote down were degrees, minutes, seconds, or something, but not decimal degrees, UTMs would make a huge difference. If you start with UTMs, okay, I think we've discovered the problem. Okay, I'll, I'll describe that one from the front. Okay. But you're right. It could be that the sign is contributing. Or in this case, it's the reference point. Is there another question this way? Others, other questions? Okay. I'll describe what may be the answer to the Moses mystery. No, still answering questions about it. I'll go back to the to a slide in here. The potential answer to the Moses mystery lies in this map. Many maps, most maps, actually have the universe trans universal transverse Mercator coordinates on them. And those will be in positive numbers always, both east and north. They're always eastings and northings. And so they're, in one case, a seven-digit number, in another case, a six-digit number. But those numbers are not unique. You can take one UTM coordinate pair, easting and northing, mm -hmm. and it will be in every one of these cells on the planet, the same one. When you translate from UTMs to decimal latitude and longitude, you need to know which zone it was in, because that zone tells you what to add to get to the right coordinate. Says Moses. That probably is it. When you mention UTMs, that makes sense, because there will be a, a different UTM zone for Nigeria. Potentially. Other questions? All good questions. I just like the standard maps. Two UTMs will give you some form of error. So which maps should we rely on? Let me see if I understand the question. First, let me state this. Some in fact, most maps will have UTM coordinates on them, and they'll have the UTM grid so that you can use it to measure the UTM coordinates. Also on the map, they will say what the zone is for those coordinates. But the map also has the decimal, well, not necessarily decimal. It will have the degrees, minutes, seconds of the corners. And it will also have a grid system for degrees and minutes and seconds. So both of them are on there. But if you're recording the original data as UTM coordinates, then you need to have the zone in order to be specific to be on that map. Otherwise, you could be on any of the other maps at the same latitude. Does that answer the question or no? If it doesn't, tell me. You know, I'll try to answer it. No. An explanation that he gave to Moses that he probably used UTM zones. That's why he got missing. I was asking, is there any alternative to the, the, this one? Yes. You don't need to use UTMs. It's just one system that happens to be convenient because you can record a position with a positive number for east and a positive number for north. And that number is a number of meters. 
So for certain situations, that's quite convenient. It means with two UTM coordinates, you can find the distance between them pretty easily. However, if you don't record the zone and you don't take the zone into consideration, then you don't know exactly where it is. You know one of 60 different possibilities because there are 60 zones. Now, that doesn't mean all is lost. Because if you know the map, or the country, you can infer the zone. You can figure out what the zone is. But if you don't take the zone into consideration when you do the translation, it can be in the wrong place. Yeah. So, they're not bad necessarily, but you have to use them correctly. Okay, one more question over there. I, I always ha also have this, this problem. My GPS is Garmin, and uh, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I take points, even in, in, um, in, in decimal degrees, and once I transfer it into map source, I can't get it into, this, into, um, 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 into decimal degrees. It, 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 it converts all the points automatically to map source in UTM. So at one point I realized that I, I have to be taking hard copy. If I take any point, I have to write it in my field notebook. If not, when I transfer it into, into map source, all of them will be in UTM. Uh -huh. So in that case, what, uh, what, what, what can I do? Okay, first let me try to explain some potentially missing pieces of information for the others. So Moses has a particular brand of GPS, a quite common one, a Garmin GPS. Mm -hmm. And a Garmin GPS comes with software that allows you to download from the GPS to the computer. And it's called Map Source. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying is when he plugs his GPS and copies the coordinates from his GPS to his computer and looks at them in Map Source, he sees them as UTM coordinates. Mm -hmm. You can configure Map Source to show you whichever coordinate system you want. You can change it to be decimal degrees. I don't I've remember right now how it is, but I know that you can do it. Okay. If I'm wrong about that, then there are other pieces of software that you can use to capture the, the GPS coordinates that won't have that problem. Free and available for download on the internet. Okay. I don't at the moment remember the name of them, but th there are also online websites where you can put your GPS coordinates and have them translated, but I don't remember what that is either. Okay. The online website has all your your coordinates. Google Maps can't it do that. I think I could. You could if you have the coordinates, you can put them into Google Maps, or you can save a file that you can show on Google Maps. Yes. But we're, I'm talking about software that actually read the data from the GPS oh. and allow you to, to see it and convert it. Oh. And I just, at the moment, I don't remember what that's called. Oh. 